Hey, TJ, how are you? We are all good, boys. How you been? We are rocking and rolling. We are already on the show, so you're coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way than with my winning cures, guys. Absolutely. I know you've been chopping it up. I've been watching the show. Uh, I'm just glad that we have you still both socially isolated because by now somebody would have stabbed somebody with a plastic fork, I think, by now <laughs> if you were together. Hey, you know what? Oh, so, no, so, what are you talking about? We love Come each on. other, but we can get a little heated from time to time. So I'm, just, I, I'm just saying that I, I, it's, it's been heated in my own household at times right now during quarantine, and the plastic silverware is something that's readily available, and I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm concerned overall. It's, I will say this. If if Chris and I were quarantined together, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. Chris is a very difficult person to live with. He's a very, I am the hardest person I know to live with. I can, I can believe it. I can believe it. All right, TJ, let's uh, let's dive into some of these topics really quick because I don't have forever today. Uh, Dalvin Cook, he is – they are discussing the idea that he may hold out for this season. Obviously, Minnesota Vikings running back. Uh, d- give, me, give me your thoughts on this, and then I want to hear Chris's thoughts uh, because from what I've read, it's unlikely that he will actually hold out. Uh, I mean, you're, you're involved in the NFL. You work in the NFL. Give me your thoughts here. What do you think about Dalvin Cook holding out? Two or three things on this one. One, he's a Florida guy. I'm in West Central Florida. He's from South Florida, went to Florida State. There are a lot of Noel fans that I know that loved him. There are a lot of fans of the Buccaneers that are also Florida State fans or not that wanted the Buccaneers to take him three years ago. Instead, took O.J. Howard, and the Buccaneers have really not had a star running back uh, really for going on uh, probably a decade now, somebody that you could really count on as a go-to running back. They've, they've been searching for that. Uh, I am all about, as you guys are, get what you can get financially, however and wherever you can get it. And he's going into the final year of his deal. Now, it, it does bear emphasizing he tore his ACL at the beginning, I believe, of his rookie year. Help me because it's all fuzzy on quarantine time. It was the beginning that's, of the rookie that's, season, that's right? Yep, Probably correct. first few games. He was paid in full, by the way, for that, even while he was not able to play and has come back and has recovered. So there is a little there is a little give and take. Uh, he sees the money that Kirk Cousins is making and some others are making on the Minnesota Vikings. But the real, I guess, hurdle for him is the de-emphasis of the running back getting the huge deal in the modern NFL. It, it doesn't really exist on a regular basis, it's, it's just on occasion. Todd Gurley got a massive deal from the Rams a couple of years ago, and it's killing the Rams now salary cap-wise, and they've gotten rid of him because Gurley dropped off in, in productivity last year. So that, I, I believe I'll kick it back to you guys. That's the real hurdle is that teams aren't paying 50, 60, 70 million guaranteed anymore for a running back. And I don't think that he's looking for that. I think he's looking for like 13 million a year, maybe over the next three years. Uh, Chris, before I throw it to you, the Vikings kind of build their offense and run everything through Dalvin Cook. Now, obviously, you want that to well, change. Well, I don't know at about through point. Dalvin Cook, but definitely through the running back position. Right. Last year, it definitely was Dalvin. He led the league in yards per game or something of that nature or yards per play, one of the two uh, um, last year. I mean, he he was the most utilized running back for his team last year. And uh, and, and he's, you know, he's worth the goods. The problem is, as, as TJ said it, and, and I've said this many times on the show, I love running backs, but I wouldn't spend a nickel on one of them. I'd just run them into the ground and draft another one. Because so much of it's scheming. Now, I don't know what their offense is going to look like without Stavansky, but I got a feeling it's still going to be very run heavy, very centered well, I mean, that, around similar. Dalvin. Like, that's his philosophy, right? Run the ball, stop yeah. the run. And, right. and you win a lot of games that way. Uh, no, I think, I think Zimmerman likes being conservative. He'd trust Dalvin over trusting Kurt um, it, it, to control the game. So, so I, 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 think, I think he's worth it. The problem is, is not one of these running backs have ever gotten paid and then it worked out for the team. That's that's my logic for why I would never pay one. Is well, and the, so and the Gurley, give me the big true. contract that worked out. Go ahead, right, and the Gurley and the Gurley example is the latest one of one that didn't work out, and it's very interesting because Ezekiel Elliott 
wants the big money. He's seen guys get paid around him. Leonard Fournette down here in the state of Florida in Jacksonville and North Florida, same boat as Dalvin Cook is going into the final year of his deal. And I, I don't see any way Jacksonville uh, b- backs up the brakes truck for him. Um, and then Saquon Barkley would be the guy two years from now. Now, by league rule, he can't get a new contract until after this season. You have to have played at least three years under the CBA rules uh, before you can get a new deal off of your rookie deal. So he would be another test to that. But you're absolutely right. The, these these have almost see- become uh, just absolute uh, gold or, or, or artifacts here that we're, that we're seeking and that we're, we're searching for. Uh, for running backs to get new big contracts. It doesn't exist. Second contracts that are massive don't exist anymore, really, in the NFL. Zeke played all 16 games last year. Okay, Zeke got his big money contract, played all 16 games, didn't miss a game. Zeke was a top 10, top 10 running back for the week. It's a weekly game. You show up on Sundays three times the entire season. That's not worth the money he's making. I never th- I thought if any and what and I don't have it in front of me. What is he making per year? Because I'm sure that's what Cook. Well, it was it was literally almost exactly like uh, uh, Gurley's deal. I'm Damn. pulling it up. Go, so it's go in ahead. the neighborhood of 13 million, something like that. 12, 13, 14 million guaranteed. Which again, if you're the Vikings, I don't have their salary cap right in front of me. You have to be concerned about that amount of guaranteed money at that position to Chris's point when you can maybe find somebody who's not quite as good but but cost a million or three million dollars instead of thirteen. That's the real challenge right now. It was a six year ninety million dollar contract with fifty million guaranteed. That's a so lot that's, of money. Uh, that, was a forty five million dollar contract. Yeah. But but again, it's probably mostly front-loaded where the Cowboys took the hit in the first couple of years, to Chris's point. And 2022-2023, if Ezekiel Elliott starts to fall off, goodbye. Uh, Rework well, it or goodbye. Uh, hold on. Let me let me help you out here. Uh, he His cap hit this, uh, this coming season, like last year, his cap hit was uh, only $6 million. His cap hit this year is 10.9. Zeke's cap hit next year is 13.7 million his uh his, let's see his cap hit in 2022 16.5 then it drops to 15 then it drops to 12 and then it goes back to 15 and 16 again uh his dead cap uh if they were to cut him his dead cap would be 24 million after the 2021 season uh 2022 it's 10 million and then it drops off if they if they decide okay. to cut him so, well, and you just refreshed me too. He held out during the preseason last year, yes. and I'm trying to remember he missed the first yep. game or two as well. And that's the Cowboys, and the, and the Cowboys and Jerry Jones are are as marketable as any franchise in all the world. And they were struggling, and they struggled all year offensively. So that's a different dynamic than Minnesota, because I believe part of their argument will be we will throw the ball with Kirk Cousins and make things happen. Uh, offensively with just another running back if we have to do that. There yeah. you go. I mean, when Murray was there, Murray handled it really well uh, when Dalvin Cook went out with an injury. So, you know, and he wasn't as good as Dalvin Cook, but he was still serviceable, you know, and they they still won a lot of football games with him. So, you know, I, I what, what number would you put on it, Chris? Uh, what would you be willing to pay him to keep him around? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I'm just not. I'm not schooled enough in salary cap stuff. I just know that my my philosophies with running back is is spend a third round pick every couple of years. Every year, every two years, spend a third round pick, grab a new one, and go. That's not a terrible idea. TJ, would you do the same thing? I think. I think though, with him, he's an explosive player, and and you could come to some kind of an agreement, probably giving him. 20 30 million guaranteed something like that and find a way to make it work now whether that's the smart thing to do that's another argument and hey i'll just end it on a hubris note the vikings are due to come to play the buccaneers dalvin cook can hold out the whole year if he would like i would rather <laughs> play minnesota without dalvin cook i can believe that i can believe that let me jump in the chat here uh let's see michael jumped in on our previous conversation said i don't need texas to be good they already act better than they are uh, he said, no way I would pay Cook. I like him as a player, but he's not worth the money. Matt said, I was very surprised Zeke didn't get hurt right off the bat last year. I was really expecting it. 
And then Michael said, I liked Madison enough to give him a shot and save money. Uh, yeah, I could buy that. I mean, obviously, well, all of them, I think, are, are good. Like, they can be. I don't think Dalvin's sports. actually going to hold out. I think he's no. trying. He might hold out, but he's not missing games. He'll be back in time to actually play the season because he has seen the running backs that actually do hold out and miss games. It hasn't worked out for a single one of them. None of them have gotten close to the money they thought they were getting going to get, and they missed p- game checks. They yeah. missed part of the salary that they were already owed. It always worked out in a negative favor for them. I, I just don't think missing games is smart. No, I think. And uh, one uh, more on that: Devontae Freeman got a large deal what two years ago in Atlanta, largely front yep. loaded. And yep. they are now looking at him and did look at him as better days are behind him and and deleted him, and he can't get a gig right now. He's almost gone through the whole free agency process. We're now uh, into the summer. He's almost at the point where he's waiting for a team probably to have an injury, a significant injury at running back for an opportunity for him to jump back in. And, and Freeman, I want to say, is 30. Maybe tw- the magic number is 30. He's maybe 29 or 30. He's only three or four years older than Dalvin Cook at the most uh, yeah. coming right behind him. So, well, Freeman Freeman also an had an injury. He was coming off of that last yep. season and whatnot. So, you know, obviously a weird time right now because teams are wanting to get their uh, their hands on him, get their, yes. uh, their medical teams on him. It, There's just tough. so many good running backs coming out of college every year. Every year there are four or five guys that come out of college and they're instantly a top 20 running back. They're, they're top two thirds of the league coming straight out of college on those rookie deals. Many of those guys draft it third, fourth round. And so you're paying them nothing. And, yeah. and it's just one of those things where why would you spend money? It's just all about value. Why would you spend high price money when quarterbacks cost so much money? When receivers, elite receivers cost so much money, offensive elite linemen. offensive linemen and pass rushers yeah. cost so much money. Why would you spend it on a position that you could get for nothing? Freeman is twenty eight. Right? One more. It depends on if it's somebody versatile enough though, too. Barkley is an exception in New York who can catch the ball and is explosive at that position. Uh, to spend more, but I understand your point. I mean, just bring it back to the Bucks one more time, and then I know you want to move on. The Bucks drafted Ronald Jones two years ago out of USC. He's yet to show the flashes, the consistency of the big plays uh, that he made at Southern Cal in the Pac-12, now going into his third season. But Tampa Bay goes and drafts two mid-round running backs. One is Keyshawn Vaughn, the, the kid that was at Vanderbilt last year and played at Illinois before that, and then the little running back whose name escapes me from the University of Louisiana, the Ray John Cajons. They got two of them. To Chris's point, where it's basically th- this position doesn't cost us very much, and whoever of those three guys emerges is going to get a lot of playing time uh, yeah, I mean, this just season, at, and let's get it done. Uh, the, the Broncos had uh, uh, Lindsey as an undrafted free agent. Correct. I mean, he's, he's unbelievable now. Uh, yeah. So Michael Fritz jumped in and, and threw that in there on uh, on Twitch. Well, and, so. and so let's let's talk about Saquon for a minute, and then we can get off of it. Saquon can run. Saquon can catch. So can Le'Veon Bell. Guess what? He hasn't proven to be worth any of the money that they paid him. Yeah. No, it's a, you, you're always going to be able to find examples. Uh, for I, even, I think I think Saquon is a freak athlete. I also think if they pay him top tier running back money, that you will overpay and it will hurt your team in the long run. And, and we're going to see about the Panthers as well. I mean, we talked about that. Oh, yeah, they gave McCaffrey a a metric crap ton of money. Yes. No. Just crazy. Freeman, by the way, 28 years old, uh, same age as David Johnson. So, Todd Gurley, who we think is uh, is washed up now, only 25 years old. So How about that? Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Um, Let's jump into another topic. T. 